Hey guys, Marion Blair here. I'm getting ready to pull a sample on my transmission oil. Send it to Blackstone, which is an engine analyzer. They're probably the most popular one you hear about on the internet and whatnot, but uh, any of them will probably do the job just as well. I'm going to send it off and see what that transmission oil looks like. I've got about 76,000 miles on this 2014 Ram, so we'll see uh, what it looks like. It's a 67 RFE transmission. And the uh, test kit comes with a little bottle. It comes in a little package. They send it to you free, but the test is going to cost about $35. And if you want to analyze for acid, it's another $10. I'm debating on that, but I'll probably do it since I'm going to be putting out that much anyway. But um, it's a bottle in a bottle. I guess the main thing is just to keep it clean, keep things clean best you can. I've got a pump here. I'm going to focus in on that now. Okay, so let me see if I can clear up some of this stuff and show you what I'm doing. Uh, I've got this little pump. I've used it before. It's from Harbor Freight. I, ha I used it to pull some oil out of my transmission, uh, out of my differential. So I guess the question is, uh, did I clean it good enough and that sort of thing. Uh, I tried to. Uh, I purged it with gas, then I purged it with uh, alcohol which makes this really stiff, but I think once I get some uh, fluid going through it, it's gonna be okay. And I'm letting it dry out. Now, the only thing that, uh, this is from uh, Harbor Freight, as I said, they don't cost much. Uh, but one of the things you do wanna do when you do this is to uh, use this tubing that's the same length as your, uh, as your dipstick. So you can see that's why I've got this dipstick out sitting here now, uh, if you can see that. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty damn close. You don't, want the, uh, you don't want this tube to tag up on bottom and then you know, suck uh, nothing but crap off the bottom. If there is any crap on the bottom, don't know. Hopefully the filtration is working and you don't have any problem with that. Uh, I don't suspect we will. Uh, we'll see how that sample comes, up, comes back though. But uh, I'm letting this dry out, and then I'm going to go over, and we're going to actually pull the sample. That's really the only uh, significance of this thing. Um, it goes in from the top. It sucks from the top, and then it pushes out here. So what I'll do is just pump a little transmission oil. It'll probably, I don't know if I have to top it back off or not. It's not going to take a whole lot to, draw, to pull that sample, but I do want to purge some through there. So we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my transmission in, uh, dipstick tube covered with a lint-free rag. Very important that you use a lint-free rag, which for me is a old t-shirt, as I've said so many times before, it's getting really boring. But anyway, uh, just keeping stuff out of it, wiping the tube. All right, we're going in the hole now. Probably could have went with a bigger tube. And when I end up uh, changing my transmission, I'm gonna see if I can go with a bigger tube and maybe suck out as much of the oil as I can so that when you break the bolts, you don't have this big spill disaster, which you will have anyway. But, uh, you know, it helps. So there we are, right there where, right there where we wanna be. Let's see if we can get some oil out of it. And hopefully, I've got it focused. All right, here comes the oil. We're purging now. Made quite a few strokes. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. I think that should be enough. Now, 
you don't have to warm the engine up for this. You do this cold. So let's go ahead and fill it up. You're not going to be able to see the level, but I can't do all of this in one hand. But you can see one, just one stroke did about half the bottle, so I need to be careful I don't make a mess. Put my lint-free rag right here to catch it. I think that's pretty close. You can see right here. But Mr. Anal here is going to try to get the very last bit that he can. I think that's going to be, I don't know exactly what they're calling three ounces, but we'll go with that. Can't be that critical, right? Here's the, uh, here's the sample, if I didn't have my camera lined up right. So it's going to be that simple. You can see it's got a little bit of coloration to it. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull my hose out, put my dipstick back in, and uh, send that off to Blackstone. When it comes back in, I'll share the results with you and we'll see just how bad or how good this transmission fluid is after 76,000 miles and 10 years. So um, until we get this sample back, adios.